In this video, we look at input and output using algebra. If you haven't watched the video on algebra expressions, we suggest you do so by clicking the link provided. This video is made by MediaWorks, South Africa's foremost provider of adult education. Visit www.mediaworks.co.za for more information on our computer-assisted and face-to-face -face learning programs. Here we use algebra to find missing variable in input and output scenario. Uh, let's use an algebraic expression. Let's take, for instance, the input is n. Then it is multiplied by 6 and we subtract 10. Our input we were given as 38. So. We are going to multiply n by 6, we get 6n minus 10, which is equal to 38. Since we want to solve for n, we are going to move 10 to the other side, meaning we are going to add 10 to both sides. So 6n minus 10 plus 10 is equal to 38 plus 10, which leaves us this side with 6n is equal to 38 plus 10, which is 48. Solving for n, we are going to divide both sides by 6. 6 into 6, we get 1, which leaves us with n. And 6 into 48, we get 8. So the value of n is equal to 8.